Mr. Vice President, ADF International wishes to express its view on two of the table resolutions. One of them is concerned with sexual orientation and gender identity, and the other is on the protection of the family. ADF International strongly condemns violence or, or mistreatment for any reason. While the aim of combating violence is pressing and laudable, this SOGI resolution presents a number of worrying implications that must be addressed. International consensus led Article 25 of the International Convention Covenant on Civil and Political Rights to guarantee equal protection to all people and to prohibit discrimination on grounds such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion. Such consensus did not and does not exist in the case of sexual orientation and gender identity. In light of this lack of consensus, it is the view of ADF International that this issue should remain within the purview of each member state's domestic legal order. No definition of discrimination is provided in the resolution. There is a potential danger that this term will be used to pressure member states to prohibit disagreement on issues concerning sexual orientation and gender identity as hate speech. Burdens upon the freedom of association and freedom of religion have been placed on individuals in the name of eliminating discrimination. In addition, the language of discrimination has been used to encourage countries to change their laws on this issue in violation of state sovereignty and religious, cultural and ethical values. ADF International is committed to the protection of the family as the natural and fundamental group unit of society and enshrined in Article 23 of the ACCPR. It is imperative that the international community protect and promote the family as a unique and essential good for society. We encourage member states to remain committed to the protection of the family as fundamental for the flourishing of society, while we reiterate that the pursuit of the goal of combating violence must not be used for the promotion of non-consensual views on sexual orientation and gender identity and associated so-called rights that are inconsistent with international law. Finally, we are concerned that the end game of the SOGI resolution is the direct violation of member states' sovereignty. Thank you, Mr. Vice President.